what you're looking at here is a 2006 Chevy Corvette Z06, but it's no ordinary one. It is a fully electric car, and we're here at uh, the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where this car is um, setting land speed records for electric vehicles over 200 miles an hour in runs today and yesterday. And there you see the custom uh, battery and the, well, the, the blue part you see is actually a battery pack. This car has five of them. And those are the controllers and the electric motors are under there. But um, this is an attempt to build a electric supercar based on the uh, Chevy Corvette. The actual production car will be based on the newer Corvette. This is a 06, I believe. There's the battery charging. And a lot of, uh, a lot of speed records are set here because there's a three-mile runway uh, that's absolutely flat. Over the three miles, there's a quarter-inch elevation difference. And as you see, this car is extremely stock, aside from those racing harnesses. Those are heated seats there. The uh, air conditioning is in place. The, um, the, the heated seats and the, um, you know, the audio controls are all in place. So they're trying to show that in a car that's set up for the street, and this is a road registered car, you can go over 200 miles an hour. As I said, they have already shown that. They're trying to set a new record also with the standing mile. And uh, they're so far very pleased with the results. Pretty cool, huh? A land, this is the land speed record for an electric vehicle, this car right here and records that were set today in the steaming hot sun of uh, the Kennedy Space Center. This is where the space shuttle was launched and was hangered. And uh, it's in a hot, sort of high security part of the Space Center. And it's the run, essentially the runway for the space shuttle is where they're being tested. All right, there's something cool happening every day, isn't it? Jim Motivalli reporting from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida on the land speed record Chevy Corvette, the electric land speed holder. Jim Motivalli.